Hey, Jason Butler here, driver of the 10 car and day one participant of the Canadian e-motorsport network. Happy 100th race everyone. Back during the crazy days of COVID shutdowns, I was looking for something to occupy my time. I was a lifelong racing fan growing up in the racetrack, watching my father race street stocks in Eastern Ontario and Western Quebec on the dirt, as well as Upper State New York at Oswego Speedway on the asphalt. So when I saw this random Facebook post from some random guy on PEI about an online racing league, I just had to jump at the opportunity. I went from working 60 hours per week to maybe 12 and was going a little stir crazy to say the least. I've had an amazing time knowing that every Tuesday I'll be joining up with guys from around North America to battle it out, not just on oval tracks, but also any manner of track that the competition committee throws at us. On the NASCAR side, I'm obviously not that great, but still thoroughly enjoy the battling it out with the 20 or so other guys who've been with us consistently, coming out every week. I'm more of an open wheel type of guy, but the knowledge and racecraft I've learned on the NASCAR side has been invaluable. Being a member of the Canadian eMotorsports Network, not only as a driver, but also as a member of the competition committee, has been invaluable. The series has helped me in my own life with networking, as I've gained many relationships hunting down sponsors, not only for myself, but for the league in general for individual races. It has taken me a shy guy out of my shell, able to share my love of what I do with others in my daily life. As an opening day driver in the league, I can remember downright harassing the league commissioner about someday making the move to the iRacing platform. I felt that in order to grow, it was an absolute necessity. And I feel that not only have we met, but we've exceeded the expectations we thought the move would bring us. What's up everybody? Jose here from Kissimmee, Florida, driver on the number 41 for Mustang. To answer a couple of questions here as we approach our 100th race of the NASCAR series. Um, how did I join the series? Well, I saw a post on Facebook um, reached out to Daniel and Jordy, which were the guys that were in charge at the time. Um, reached out to them, asked for all the information. They sent me the uh, instructions on how to join. Um, league has had a lot of up and downs. Uh, we've had a lot of guys come through the league, some good ones, some bad ones. We've been, you know, steady every year. You know, new guys come in, competition keeps getting harder and harder. Obviously, the change from NASCAR Heat to iRacing uh, last year was a big hurdle for a lot of us, me included. I had a lot to adjust. Uh, car drives different. But all in all, I think I'm catching up a little bit to the past guys this season. Never really thought we were going to get to 100 races. Been through a lot of leagues. A lot of them don't make 50 races. A lot of men don't make 25 races. So just to put in perspective that we've reached our 100th race of just the NASCAR series, not even adding all the other series that we've had, you know, in between NASCAR series seasons and stuff like that. A uh, big shout out to Daniel Cutmore, Jordy, uh, Jason, Corbin, um, all of the admins, you know, Ty, uh, Andy, the new admins, uh, Everybody that puts a little bit here and there, Darcy, um, if I forget somebody, man, I apologize, but the admin group, everybody that started the league, everybody that has kept up with the league, I appreciate it, and it's only go for another 100 races until we get to 200. All right, thank you guys, appreciate it. Have a good race at Pocono. I'm Ty Higginbotham, driver of the number 97 in all the series. In the Canadian network, um, I first arrived in 2021. My journey through the network is has been uh, <laughs> quite a lot. I when I first started, I didn't really know anybody um, except for a few people, and um, but I quickly got um, uh, respect and a courtesy of others on the track and. Uh, became friends with everybody else pretty much uh, fairly quickly. So yeah, the first year um, was when we were in Heat 5 on the PlayStation. It went from kind of 
just being super laid back and just kind of getting a feel for how the others drive and stuff like that to, um, you know, trying to be up front and uh, getting wins and whatnot. So the, the journey's been um, quite a, a stepping ladder uh, through the years. The transition to iRacing last year, which I think immensely helped um, the network provided more of an opportunity for other drivers to join the network and opened an opportunity for us to do special events. Um, it opened the opportunity just for us to try different things and do different mini series and things like that, um, which I think was one of the best decisions we ever have done as a series or um, as a network. The transition to iRacing was quite a lot <laughs> for many people. But I think ultimately it has been the best decision we've ever made. Um, and I say we because um, I, you know, went from kind of being a newbie to being a part of the admin team, being a part of the competition committee and helping those guys. Um, and I have the utmost respect for all of those guys and um, everybody in the series, um, the NASCAR series, who, people who race in our dart series, just everybody so off the track it's led to i think uh pretty much lifelong friendships and, you know i go to races like live nascar races with some of the guys and um i also uh you know pretty much chat with most of the people every day if not every other day and i think it's led to you know good friendships that we don't just talk you know racing stuff we also talk about you know personal lives what's going on in our personal lives and stuff like that um our accomplishments um when we're down just it's led to a really good uh, connection so i'm um, really thankful for the network and what it's you know what it is at now um and what the future holds for uh, the network but yeah the, where it's at now is pretty exciting and I'm glad it's, it's, it is at where it's at and um, looking forward to the future. Hello everyone, my name is Corbin McCauley. I am the driver of the number 17 Bolger Motorsports ARC Carpentry and Flooring Cavendish Farms Chevrolet Camaro in the NASCAR series for the Canadian E-Motorsports Network. Back in 2020, I uh, noticed an email from the college account for myself. Uh, back in 2020, I was taking automotive technology at Holland College. And in this email from Daniel Cudmore, uh, it was saying that there's going to be a brand new racing sim racing series uh, hosted by the college uh, and that signups were starting soon for it. Uh, at the time, I was a massive NASCAR fan, just like I, I am now. Um, when I read that email, I'm like, I got to be a part of this because it, it was just like, I didn't think that anyone here was kind of into that thing. Uh, I didn't realize that there was kind of a following for it. And I was like, I need to be a part of this. So um, being a part of the very first season, being one of the first guys uh, and still continuing to be a part of that group of people that were there from the very beginning is such an honor. And uh, it's uh, something that I tru truly cherish. Like every, basically every single Tuesday for the last four years of my life, have been racing with the with a great amazing group of people and uh and honestly the switch over to iRacing was one of the biggest things because for myself i've been on iRacing for over a decade and nascar heat wasn't really my thing like i, I wasn't really a, a lot into the simcade stuff um it just wasn't my driving style i didn't feel comfortable but uh, i still amassed a few wins I, I i almost got that championship in season one still kind of mad about that one but you know what gibby deserved it and uh but you know what uh i was one of the big advocates for the transition over to iRacing because i knew how much it would affect our league in a big positive way uh, i knew we'd be able to do so much more we'd be able to make the broadcast look better the racing quality would be better and uh when i finally managed to convince daniel to do it we moved over to the iRacing service and uh season one i mean it, it there was some rough patches but my gosh like i did not expect it to go as smooth as it did um now that we're into the second season we're near ha we're halfway through the second season already on iRacing racing and uh going into the 100th race uh of the series at pocono raceway and uh i couldn't be more thrilled to be a part of it i mean it's been such an honor to be a part of this for the last four years of my life 
Um, I just recently started racing a stock car in real life. And uh, if I'm going to be honest, I don't think it would be happening if it weren't for this series because this whole thing really revitalized my love for stock car racing, sim racing in general. Um, I mean, I had a Logitech G27 at the start of this. Now I've got a full blown sim racing Fanatec triple monitor setup. So, I mean, it just means the world to me that this is still going on and we're still a tight knit group of people that love doing what we're doing. Um, as well as being a part of the competition committee and the guy that, you know, we, 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 we have the background discussions, we make the schedules, we do all that the stuff in the background. And uh, it truly is a ton of work that goes into what we do and how we do it. And uh, it's just such an honor to be a part of it. And I'm really glad to be a part of it. We're 100 races in. I hope we go 500 more. I mean, it's <laughs> you never know, right? So uh, it's good to see everyone tonight. Hope you guys enjoy the race, enjoy the broadcast. And uh, we're, we're going to be... Uh, putting on a good show for you so uh thank you for tuning in thank you for being with us for the last four seasons i've been here since day one you guys know the voice you guys know the face you also know that even i don't know what's coming out of my mouth next and i know one thing i didn't necessarily expect to be saying when we started all this four and a half years ago is the fact that we reached 100 nascar races that is absolutely mind-blowing to me because, I mean, this whole thing just started with a lot of pandemic uncertainty. That's all it was when I saw Dan's first post about it. Of course, Dan Cudmore's contributions to all of this can never be understated. We wouldn't be here without his initiative to begin with. But, yeah, just thinking back to how things were at the very beginning, there was a ton of uncertainty around it, a lot of logistical stuff that needed to happen. I mean... There were points where I had to stream at home because I couldn't get into Holland College with the restrictions. And it's crazy to think about all that now, especially given all the support that we had from Holland College in the very beginning. But yeah, originally live streaming wasn't really part of the plan. But yeah, once Dan and I started talking about it, it's just absolutely crazy to think this has taken off from where it was back in April or May 2020, May 26th, I believe the promo video said, from there to now, it's night and day, the evolution of where we are now. Like it's mind blowing to me to think that we've actually made it this far to the point where, you know, it's literally a connective tissue between everyone who's been part of this from season one, season two, you know, even a lot of the guys who've come in a little bit later, like, They've really embraced that kind of family mentality of it, you know? And it's been absolutely amazing that you see so many guys from different walks of life coming together in the name of fun, quite honestly. And the fact that it's lasted this long, absolutely amazing. And, you know, for me, it's been an honor being part of the conscience and I guess one of the voices of the venture itself certainly one of the more recognizable faces behind it but uh yeah crazy to think we've made it this far because obviously we have our 100 nascar races but then you think of all the crossover into the f1 series the indycar slash dart i think i can say indycar now so well beep it if i can't uh special events obviously that we've done and you know our off-season cup that we had as well like we've really diversified it's not just you know, NASCAR, but that's always going to be the crown jewel. And yeah, it's crazy to think just how much I've evolved as part of this as well. Like when we started this, I wasn't necessarily, I wouldn't say I was bad on the live streaming side of things. I could work my way around it, but trying to manage that while talking and putting together elements for it, completely different ball game forced me to learn different skill sets, things that I use today in my everyday life. But I think the biggest thing for me was, you know, learning how to better navigate trying times and whew, God knows we had enough of them. And like, I remember thinking back at the end of season one, two and three, we didn't know if we were gonna go again, but you know, iRacing really breathed new life into the series and it really gave us an opportunity to kind of make it our own. You see just how much things have evolved over the last two years on the broadcasts and, you know, being able to be part of that, albeit in a smaller role, of course, trying to navigate it from the other side of the country as opposed to being on Prince Edward Island. A little bit different now, but, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. 
can't imagine, you know, being anywhere else on Tuesday nights. And I can't imagine doing it with anybody else at this point because we're bound by this. And, you know, this is one of probably the greatest experiences that I've had, you know, personally and professionally, just with the overall growth. And, you know, it's <laughs> crazy to think I'm actually getting short on words now, but, you know, I guess I'll just end off by saying, you know, it's amazing that we got to 100, zero to 100 real quick, some might say. And yeah, it sounds lame, but it's so true. But yeah, here's to another 100 and God knows how many more that we're fortunate enough to be able to do. So, you know what? Let's keep doing this, gents. Hey everybody, Daniel Cudmore here, former driver of the number two within the Canadian eMotorsports Network. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to congratulate you all on reaching 100 races. That's a great accomplishment. Uh, a lot of hard work has gone into the series over many years by many different people. So uh, well done to everyone for this accomplishment. Um, certainly do miss being out on the track with you all, but uh, I have been keeping tabs week to week and uh, congratulations on outstanding racing uh, each and every week. It, it's really fun to watch and really fun to see. Um, a big shout out to uh, Jordy and Regan for their continued commitment and dedication to the series uh, for making it what it is so far, uh, especially your social media content uh, really has been next level. So well done, guys. Um, I wish everybody the best of luck for the rest of the season and, uh, and I'll be watching. Bye, guys.